I am Pastor Paul Tolo, Living Hope International. I pray you have your Bible ready to get into God's Word. God loves you. The greatest book you can ever read is the Bible, the B-I-B-L-E. Please read it. I encourage you. Welcome all of you watching on Twitter. Um, well, I'm not on Twitter right now. I'm on YouTube. So welcome everybody watching on YouTube. And please uh, subscribe to this uh, program. Are you ready? We need many more subscribers. And when you watch it, please click subscribe. Okay? Thank you very much. And let's get into God's Word, the greatest book you could read. Praise God. Let's drink our water. Salud here from Artesian Well in Augusta, Georgia. Salud. Yeah. All right. Thank you, Pastor. Thank you, Pastor. Welcome, everybody. Bienvenidos todo el programa. Estás preparado aquí en Agasta, Georgia. Pastor Carlos Carrillo, Iglesia Esperanza Viva Internacional. Welcome. Let's pray. Heavenly Father, we thank you. We praise you. We adore you. We thank you for your mercy, for your love, for the forgiveness of our sins, and that our names are written in the Lamb's Book of Life. Holy Spirit, we ask that you direct everything that we say and everything that we do that will bring you glory and bring you honor. In Jesus' name we pray. En el nombre de Cristo, Espíritu Santo, y todo lo que vayamos a hablar, te traiga a ti toda la gloria y toda la honra. En el nombre de Cristo, en Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Before we get into our study of the, we'll continue, continuing, Forgotten Heroes of the Bible. And we got just today, Tuesday, and tomorrow, Wednesday. Then we're finished with Forgotten Heroes of the Bible, and we're going to go into a brand new series. And it's going to be called Last Days 101. Last Days 101. Últimos Días 101. Okay? So the, let's get to the news. What's in the news? Well, this is huge. What well, just happened hours ago, about 25, four hours ago, a Russian submarine, now this is a lot of mystery involved, a Russian submarine off the coast of, they say it was there on their side in the Russian waters. Um, now, this Russian submarine was, a, was, there was fire in this submarine. There's some conflicting weather because I heard one news, in una noticia que era uh, el, el submarino grande y el otro dice el submarino pequeño. Okay, but well, well, we didn't believe both either, but it was a submarine from Russia, right? And it and all the sailors on this submarine all died. There were 14 sailors, and our condolences go to all those family members there in Russia, because a soldier is a soldier wherever you may be. It doesn't matter what country. Connected to that soldier are family members who their loved one isn't coming home alive. So we pray for comfort and peace for each one of them this day. Um, so the 14 sailors, seven of those sailors were captains. I mean, that's a lot of captains on one ship. Now, they say it's a research ship, but really, under I was listening to True News, and this was not a research ship. The Russians say it was a research ship. But it was a spy ship, okay, a spy ship. So they were spying, of course. The U.S. does the same. So you say, well, the Russians are the spying on us. How dare they? We spy on them, okay? Hello? <laughs> we're spying on the Russians. The Russians are spying on us. That's been going on for years, for years. So this is nothing new. Uh, but this sinking is very curious. Um, investigation will be going on under the uh, direction of uh, the uh, Mr. Sobru, the Secretary of Defense there. He will be investigating. Uh, 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 Putin canceled all his appointments and went back to the Kremlin and met with this man, Sobru, and says, I need you to go back over there and check. Yo te estoy mandando para que vayas, vuelvas ahí, a ese lugar donde ocurrió este incidente. Investigalo bien para mí. Investigate it really good. Now, 
the Russian Navy is doing an investigation. Now, Hal Turner on the Hal Turner radio program said this. Uh, these things that I'm about to say to you have not been verified and and they have not been they're alleged. Okay? All right. According to this information, uh, Hal Turner, he states he heard that the US, a U.S. submarine was sunk by a Russian sub. I repeat, a U.S. submarine was sunk by a Russian submarine over the coast near the coast of Alaska. I've told you over and over again, the Holy Spirit has said that America is going to be attacked. Not off the coast. The Russians are getting ready. The Chinese are getting ready. The only people not getting ready are us. <laughs> Americans still continue their normal way of life. Go shopping, go to the supermarket, watch some movies, go to the theater, spend time doing barbecue. We all do. This is all I do barbecue. This is everybody does. We're all what I'm, the point is where everybody's doing their Thing. While we're doing our thing, the Russians in Russia are getting ready for a nuclear war. While we're doing our thing, there are people getting gas masks and going underground in Russia. But here, eh, nothing's going to happen here. I mean, we've got nothing to worry about. So, according to this, the, the Russian sub sank a U.S. sub. The U.S. government has said zilch about this. I haven't heard anything. Uh, but Vice President uh, Pence was rushed immediately. This is happening simultaneously. Was rushed back to the to the White House for again. Now again, a lot of subject, of, you know, speculation. Why was Vice President uh, uh, Pence called back? Something was about to happen there. Uh, we don't know, uh, but we need to be praying and interceding. Uh, so, uh, if this, if these uh, ships, if this uh, situation is real, and the submarine did attack in the Russians, their their submarine uh, was destroyed. And but if this happened back and forth, it would be huge. It would be huge. What will the Russians do next? Okay, what will the Russians do next? The American sub intercepted Russian sub, the U.S. waters. They fired at Russia, the, the torpedo. Russians then sank a U.S. sub. This went back and forth. Again, we are living in the last days. The question is, where will you be spending eternity? Amen. Well, let's see what we got on the board. On the board, we got Forgotten Heroes of the Bible, Stephanas, Fortunatas, and Achaicas. These were good friends. Good friends. Do you have good friends? Do you know people that you will consider to be a good friend of yours? It's good to have good friends. Well, I want you to go to 1 Corinthians chapter 16, Primera Corinthians capítulo 16. I want you to go there, 1 Corinthians 16. We're going to go pretty quick here. And 1 Corinthians, 1 Corinthians, the SC says, and we're going to go to verses 17 and 18. It says, uh, I am glad about the coming of Stephanas, Fortunatus, Achaicus, for what was lacking on your part they supplied. For they refreshed my spirit and yours, therefore I acknowledge such men. All right, these were good friends of the Apostle Paul. They came and brought good news something of encouragement. Oh, it's best to have friends that encourage you than tear you down. Mejor tener amigos que te vayan a animar, pero no destruirte. Eh, eh, estos eran tres hombres que fueron buenos amigos del apóstol Pablo. All right, today we will speak about these three good friends of the apostle Paul. They arrived at Ephesus. The apostle needed to be encouraged. We also need friends that will encourage us. Now, Stephanus Fortunatus Zacharias arrived in Ephesus at the right time. Divine appointment. They had a divine appointment. They went there just to be with the Apostle Paul. 
And in Proverbs 18.24, which says that a, a friend sticks closer than a brother. That is so true. And a friend chosen wisely is more loyalty, is more loyal than a brother. Wow. Isn't that true? Sometimes a friend is going to help you more than a brother can. All right. Also, lacking on your part, they supply. This may mean that the they showed kindness to the apostle Paul. That can, Corinthians did not. What the Corinthians could not do because the, the distance from Paul. Right. They said Paul says lacking on your part, they supply. They supplied. You're too far. These men, estos hombres, suplieron por you. You know, ustedes no pudieron. Now the word supply, which means to furnish, provide, to minister unto. This may mean that they, they, they were too far to do so. Now, they refreshed my spirit, right? When they arrived, they refreshed my spirit. These men brought news from Corinth to Ephesus. They took news from Paul to Corinth. Ellos le trajeron la noticia, parece que era la noticia que refrescaron al apóstol Pablo. Because the word refresh is an absuo, which means to revive, comfort, and relief. Wow, revive, ser avivado, right? Comfort and relief. Comfort and relief. Oh, finally, we have here acknowledge. Paul said, acknowledge us, man. You know, show respect, which is the, the Greek word uh, epin, epignos. Epignosis means recognize them. Reconocerlo a ellos. De quien son ellos. Que son siempre de Cristo. They're servants of the Lord. And in 1 Thessalonians 5, 12 and 13, it tells us to recognize the work of those who serve in the church. We are to recognize them. We are to show them love and respect. Conclusion. Who is your friend? Do you have friends that refresh you? Tienes amigos que van a refrescar elevar, ayudar, animar ¿Tienes alguno? The Apostle Paul, number one writer of the New Testament and the Apostle Paul needed encouragement and that's what these men did. Now Dr. J. Vernon McGee, great Bible teacher, says Paul tells the folk at Corinth that these three fellow, Christian fellows were so wonderful that they made up for the whole church which can be there these men made up, made them up for the great, uh, for the Corinthians not being there. Ellos ayudaron, means they were there to help. They, what the Corinthian church could not do, these three men did. Amen. I hope you have a good friend. It's always good. And a friend sticks closer than a brother. Amen. Well, God loves you. Do you know Jesus is your Lord and Savior? God sent his son to die for you on the cross. And, to, and he rose again on the third day. He shed his blood on the cross for the forgiveness of your sins. Do you know him? Do you know where you're going to spend eternity? If you're not sure, tonight's the night. Surrender to Jesus. Please don't wait. Time is running out. If you want Jesus in your heart, pray this prayer. Say, Dear Lord Jesus, I repent of all my sins. I receive you as my Lord and my Savior. Wash me in your precious blood. Señor Jesús, me arrepiento de todos mis pecados. Te recibo como mi rey salvador. Lávame en tu sangre preciosa. En nombre de Cristo Jesús. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Uh, Heavenly Father, pray for every single person. Say yes to you. Fill them with your Holy Spirit. Give them a hunger for your word. And connect them to a church where they can be disciples. In Jesus' name, amen. If you gave your life to Christ, let us know at trustjesus19 at gmail.com. Trustjesus19 at gmail.com. Well, God loves you, and we'll be back tomorrow. Then we're taking two days, and then we'll be back Saturday with a brand new series, Last Days 101. Last Days 101. We're going to go really slow for the next two to three months. We're going to talk about the last days. What are they? What's going to happen? We're going to talk about wars, rumors of wars, nations, false prophets. And this, this is a lot. The Antichrist. 
We're going to talk about the rapture, the seven years of tribulation, the second coming, the millennial reign, the new heavens and the new earth. Lots to talk about. We're going to go slowly through it. All right? Well, God loves you. Live for Jesus. And remember, Shalu Shalom Jerusalem. Pray for the peace of Jerusalem. I had a great day today. Uh, my wife working together and interpreting. And also my son and I play a little basketball. You know, try. I get tired. And, but uh, God gives me strength. To, but he's really, really good. My son, 11 year old, he's playing really, he has a great jump shot. Uh, so, uh, I, and we have fun. <laughs> I try to tease him, I try to beat him, but I, I, you know, he's a lot younger. But I try, I try. Spend time with your children because life goes very quickly. And one moment they're 11, the next moment they're 18, they're graduating high school. Spend time with them. Show them your love. Remember, God loves you. And live for Jesus, everybody. Live for Jesus. Please share this video with as many people as possible. And please subscribe. Good night. Shalom.